So I think this is like C4. Just place it on the ground. Looks like the chip lets me use a new sub weapon. Gotta figure out how to read my surroundings and use the best weapons for the situation at hand. And then uh, the good thing is you don't have to walk back. It uh, automatically auto uh, kicks you out, which is actually a good thing because it saves time. Uh, now open that map. All right, let's go to the one on the far right. Okay, good. Do 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 do. Yeah, never, never buy, never buy anything from Skip Rogers. He sucked. And like, I don't know, auto fire controllers. I don't know. I kind of get picky over time about stuff. And those are mines. Cause like, I used to be, I used to be all crazy about like different controllers and stuff like that. As you, as people have seen on my reviews. The only bad thing about being in the water here is like your, oh, your, your mobility is just ter flat out terrible. Ugh. The good thing is you will get a, you, you do get upgrades over time, so. Like, cause at, near the end, like, you're stupidly powerful. Yeah. It's cool. Jason has little funny animation. Uh, okay, there we go. Yeah, oh, we are very close to the next. Uh, where's the penetrator? Penetrator, where are you? Keep passing it. There we go. Bam. And then you can be a real jerk here. <laughs> As I said, this game, it, it does, it does get very, it actually gets, especially like near the end, it gets really tough, but as of right now, it's, it's a, it's pretty much just a big cakewalk, but I don't know, this is actually, this is actually probably one of my new, my new, uh, I guess favorite game of the year so far. Resident Evil is up there, but this game is actually a lot of fun. And it's only 10, like, I'm amazed this is like 10 bucks. Like, this is really good for ten dollars. Whoop! <laughs> See, <laughs> you gotta be really careful, because they move faster than you do. But, like, um... Yeah, the, the story of this is... It's a... Well, actually, this is a much better story than the original, because I guess... From what I understand is they... They didn't translate everything 100% in the original Nintendo. So, like, there are moments where, uh... Okay, good. Because, like, um... As, as you saw in the opening where you're just hunting down your frog buddy... Like, the, the stupid thing about it... I keep... I keep doing that! There we go. Actually... Hold on. I'm gonna jump into the ignition bomb, because the cool thing is, you can do... You can, uh, bomb little rock crevices like that, so... <clears throat> so, we were last at the weapon of the flamethrower, and then you get a, a Metroid beam, essentially. And it just goes through everything. Like, look, look how powerful this damn thing is. It just, just destroys everything in its path. So now, we're on easy mode. I said, this game is not very hard to begin with. Like, they, they actually had to incorporate a uh, harder difficulty to actually accommodate people that, like, this game's too easy. But, I don't know. Difficult... For me, difficulty, it's... It's good and bad. I mean, I don't care. I personally don't care about difficulty at all. I personally enjoy a game for what it is. If it's just fun, then awesome. And see that guy? <laughs> he was a re he used to give me trouble, and now he don't give me trouble. Haha. -ha. Actually, let's grab a bomb just for, just for fun. I mean, they do have weaknesses, but once you get to this point, you can just start spamming. Like, you can just auto fire this gun. 
What the hell is that? Some giant mutant? Damn it, I guess I gotta do this. <laughs> I don't know why I read it Jason like that. <laughs> so now we're fighting Mother Brain. So also Metroid. Dropping the Metroid. Actually, yeah. And I globbed up. Oh gosh, I'm doing really terrible this time. Uh. Whoop. 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 So kind of... Damn it. I'm doing really terrible. Usually I kick ass at this spot. I'm picking the wrong weapon. Nope, let me take my gun. Okay, just brute force it. <laughs> this is not exactly the best. <laughs> I'm not showing everybody how cool I am, so... Ah, dang it, I can't go back. Oh well, we'll do that. So now Sophia, she can uh, shoot faster. Yep, Sophia's got more power. And the data, yeah, data analyzed by that chip is inside my helmet. Get the feeling there are more chips out like they're out here. Makes me wonder just who in the world made all this tech. Man, I'd love to dig into all of this, but I gotta focus on finding Fred. I might jump into that again just for the hell of it. Through the power of editing. Okay, through the magic of editing, I'm back. I just wanted to get just a little bit of health, because... Ugh. This part kind of sucks. Oh, no. No, get away from me, little weird shrimp thing. Yes, looks like Fred's signal isn't coming from the forest area anymore. Looks like some kind of residential area. It's actually pretty close by. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Okay. Cause yeah, so now, as you've noticed, I got super beam, or uh, much better beams. Much better shots, and it's cool because you actually find a lot of good fun stuff over time. But yeah, I am usually better at this. But honestly, let's face it, usually in Let's Plays, always always the worst things always happen, no matter what. Let's see. Because those are mines. And so the, the mines aren't necessarily bad. Hold on. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. They actually go through. But as you see, it actually uh, gets that... It actually... Uh, so don't, don't stand directly next to it, because you'll, you'll get hit by the red stuff. Let's see. Cause I hate. That's the one thing I hate about it, is like moving in water in this part. Cause it's like it's so slow and you're so damn clunky. Uh, let's see what else we got. Ah. Oh yeah, actually that the one underneath. I know that I actually know that weapon upgrade. That one's very helpful. Let's do two things. Let's go get a health upgrade. Whoop. And then we'll go get the uh, other upgrade underneath. Because some of those upgrades are really helpful. So now I can actually damage him. Because the best part... Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> is the health upgrade right here, but you... They... They make you fight for it. So that little green thing right there is the health upgrade. Yay! Jason and Sophia's life go up by one. And... That upgrade on the bottom. So... The, the levels are pretty small. Oh gosh. Almost got back into a corner there. 
Only problem with this one is, again, it's more... Stupid. Stupid water stuff. Come on. And then you gotta f go through here, which sucks. Ow! <laughs> uh, late, later on, you do find some uh, stuff to move better in in uh, water, but as for right now, we just gotta suck it up. So I got my wave beam back. <laughs> Let's just take everybody out. But yeah, it this really makes it a much easier game, which I said it, de it depends on how you it depends on your outlook, honestly. Because if you're one of those people that just want super hard, difficult games, then this difficulty is not for you. They did release a hard mode, essentially, but it's it's fine. It's nothing like. I have yet to really try it, because I'm trying to play with the DLC characters first. But, um, apparently they, they don't make the wave beam as super overpowered, and they, like, uh... Probably, I mean, it's probably just, like, usually it's, like, more health or more enemies or something like that. But, uh, here's our next... Like, this isn't really a boss. Like, because, uh, what they do, they, uh, Mother Brain was, like, the real boss. And they usually have, like, uh, guys like this, and where it's just fight a bunch of different t uh, type of enemies. But, uh, they do, they do overwhelm you, so I mean, one... Especially that one has tons of health. I think they start, like, th I, s I swear they start throwing, like, five or six at you. Or, th or probably, like, four. Uh, okay, never mind. Six. But they don't have a lot of health. Which is good. These guys do. Eat bomb. Uh, come on. Yeah, I hate these gold ones. They have so much health! The good thing about the wave beam, well, I think it's like their weakness. But they, uh, they usually, like, freeze. Having them freeze is probably the best part of it. Uh, oh my gosh. I'm having so much health. And the good thing about this, so you saw us having the missiles. Uh, this is called the Thunderbreaker. So it shoots lightning underneath. I personally think the lightning is more uh, important and effective. Uh, you'll see probably in a few moments. Uh, once I get back, I'll equip it in the Sophia. So, we have missiles to start out with, but this is the Thunderbreaker. <laughs> oh, actually, oh, what? I did not know underwater that it did that. It just cleared everything. That is actually really cool. So, let's, let's say, for instance, I wanted to get the, uh, get this, but there are mines underneath. Fuck that. Haha! <laughs> Yay! I move so slow. Eh. Okay. But you do get some cool stuff. Like, once you start getting mobility stuff... Like, hover jets. I think she- yeah, I think Sophia, she has some hover jets on her. Uh, let me look at the map real quick. Okay, just straight left. Uh. Oh yeah, I also, I also remember the weird- Man, those those Skip Rogers videos are so freaking weird. <laughs> and you can just forego 
<laughs> you just skip it like that. <laughs>